where it's the final ever FA Cup. Quarterfinal match at the bowling ground. 1-1. Dispute on that second goal. But the first goal was magnificent. First half. West Ham had the better chances. But you need to score magnificent goals. Past the hair. He was man the match for me. I don't know what to say of the first half. Very tight. Not a lot to say about the first half, is there? It wasn't brilliant, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't great. But the second half looked like it was heading nil-nil. Again, not a lot happening. The hair making all the saves. But Randolph was on top form too. And no clear-cut chances. Then West Ham get a free kick. And a lot, uh, a lot of us saying, Poyet can't score from there. He did over the wall and beautifully passed the hair. What a free kick. One of the best goals of the quarter final, including Lukaku's yesterday. And West Ham from there looked like they were going through. They had another chance. Poyet was through, and a good save from the head, even though the referee pulled it back for a foul of some sort. Then, from nowhere, Man United scored through Martel. Lovely way he hooked it in when it looked impossible, but Swanstugger did foul the goalkeeper, Randolph. Now, if the referee would have seen that, Atkins would have had to disallow it, but he didn't. Then, of course, Michael Carrick, ooh, looked like he was just about to crush West Ham's dreams, but it was a poor shot, wasn't it? Just curled it wide, you know, bit of a very rushed shot, sort of hit the ground, and just phew, went away. Then it looked like Antonio had won it for West Ham, but again, De Gea just dives and puts it all out for a corner. Then West Ham had four corners off that noble, of course, then came closest. And nothing came out of those corners. But I suppose it's fitting for the quarter final be to be. The final ever FA Cup match to be played at the bowling ground. And an interesting fact. Manchester United will play the last ever Premier League match. Also at the bowling ground. West Ham do come up with some interesting historic facts. I'll finish it at least. West Ham were the last team ever to win at Highbury. And they were also the first ever team to win at the Emirates. So you're in a pub quiz and that pops up. So watching this video could help you win the pub quiz. Yeah, not 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 a great not a great match reaction on the game. It wasn't that fantastic, but that free kick from Pyatt was sensational. That's how you score a free kick. De Gea, one of the best, if not one, I would say probably the best goalkeeper in the world, on his way to Real Madrid. Wow, even he couldn't save that. Uh, for Van Gaal, mm, will he be leaving at the end of the season? I'll tell you what, I don't think he's going to finish the season. And of course, for the West Ham manager, Mr. Selvig Biarc, what's his name? Oh, I can't even bloody remember the name of the Croatian manager. But he said he'd rather win the FA Cup than get fourth place. Fair play to you. I've got to say this weekend and this season, the moments of the FA Cup is alive and kicking. So, one match to go in the quarterfinals. It's a replay at the bowling ground. Huh. And I'll say thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed all my reaction videos. Or maybe you haven't. Whatever. Thank you for viewing my videos. And I'll say... Good evening to you and hope you had a brilliant weekend and goodbye.